It's finally here, guys. Patch 1.87. I've been sitting in front of my computer for like three hours like an absolute loser. Let's talk about it. Let's read it. Okay. Added separate damage scaling for PvP? No way. This feature allows separate damage scaling for weapons, skills, spells, and incantations when playing against other players. In the future, this feature may be used to balance weapons, art, spell, and incantation invading in PvP mode. That is actually insane. Balancing will not impact single player and cooperative play. This is like the, for the first time. I feel like this was never going to happen. The fact that we have separate balancing for PvP and PvE now, that is amazing. I never thought I'd even see the day. Wow. Good job. Good job. FromSoft. Okay. PvP exclusive balancing adjustments. Increased stamina attack power in the PvP for all attacks against guarded foes except for long range weapons. Improved poise damage in PvP for... Every weapon's normal attack except skills and long range weapons. That's okay, that makes sense. That's really good. Probably they buffed poise as well. With a few exceptions, the power of, with the power of Ashes of War and PvP had lowered across the board. The power of Ashes of War had been lowered in PvP. That makes sense because all Ashes of War are really insanely overpowered. It's just spamming L2 for days, so that's really good. Hopefully it's actually been increased by a decent amount. The power of the following incantations have been decreased. Okay. A bunch of dragon incantations. Increased poise damage when using two-handed weapon attacks. That's really good because like power sensing seems like the most obvious play, but now two-handing is actually being pretty decent now, which is really, really good. Increase the speed of some colossal sword attacks. Okay. Speed and hit detection of colossal sword crouching and rolling attacks have been decreased. You love to see it. Let us test it out. Oh, I have a fucking colossal sword already equipped. Convenient. That's eh, still quick. It's not that slow. Crouch. It's a little bit slower. But the regular attack speed has been increased, I believe. That's eh, not that. Eh, it's a little bit noticeable. A little bit. Okay, moving on. Decrease the recovery time. Um, recovery time as well has been buffed. Nice. Increase the poise damage of hammers, great hammers, and colossal swords. But do they stagger now? We have to figure out if they stagger now. I don't think they do, but we're gonna have to figure it out. Um, increase guard penetration of the falling weapons. Okay, the shuttle and scythes now have guard penetration, or increased guard penetration, which is nice. But we, shields aren't really a matter anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, the poise rating of some weapons have been increased. Great swords, close swords. In case of larger weapons, it's got a buff to poise damage, which is nice. With some exception, poise of all armor has been increased. Hopefully we get to see more than like three armor sets now. That's really nice. The effects of the Great Shield Talisman and Hammer Talisman are being increased. So they feel like they're trying to shift towards more of like an anti-shield. But like kind of buffing the shields at the same time. Which is interesting. Some effects of the Scholar Shield, Barricade Shield. Okay. I don't really care much of shields, not gonna lie. Moving on. Fingerprint Shield got a nerf. You'd love to see it. Um, decrease the status effect buildups by dual wielded weapons. This changes things. Maybe dual wielding for status effect builds are no longer a metal. They're probably still gonna be decent. Um, but hopefully that means that like power stancing spears is not going to be as good as it used to be. Um, increased attack power of Glint's available. It's nice. Lightning spear. How many changes? Up? Okay, there's a. Oh my god. So I'm going to link this down below if you guys want to read it. But um, this might take a while. We're just going to speed run through this. Oh my god. Okay, lightning spear. Increased power when charged. It's nice as well as flame sling. Rejection wrath of the gods. Black flame increased stamina attacks against garden enemies. Cool. Assassin's Approach, yep, cool. Frozen stuff got increased to Frostbite. Poison got increased. Poison Satisfact brought up. I literally just made a video about this. I was going to literally post tomorrow about this stuff. Now I'll probably have to delete it. Who knows? All of these got decreased FP consumption, which is nice. Decreased FP consumption. I wish they told us by how much. And increased attack power. I'm actually looking forward to testing our Blood Boon. That'd be pretty cool. Um, these aspects of the Crucible incantations got decreased in FP consumption and increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Oh, there's going to be a lot here. This is going to be really good. There's a lot of spell changes. Anything that I really care about? Rock Blast that reduced FP consumption, increased poise damage and stamina attack power, increased certain portions of the spell's hitboxes. Actually got buffed. You'd love to see it. Stars of Ruin. Increased the power and charged. That's a nice change because it's very underpowered. And it, it stops it from being spammed as well, which is nice. Reduce FP and stamina consumption of founding rain stars. Extends the range. Magic glint blade. Poise damage. Okay, carry and piercer. Shorten the recovery time and reduce FP consumption. Increased attack power? Isn't that already good? Okay, I don't, I don't mind. Sorceries seem like they're going to be, um, become a metal, which is pretty cool. 
Probably not. Who knows? We'll find out. Um, reduce the FP consumption and attack. Um, okay. That's kind of cool. I guess. Galmy's Fury, don't really care for it, but it will be nice to get buffed. Attack power, you'd love to see it. Some more Ice Storm. Increase attack power. Jeez, that's just a bunch of stuff. Bubbles can now be used while in motion. You love to see it. Streamline attack range and increase attack power when charged. Same thing with the Great Oracular Bubble. Explosive Ghost Flame. Increase the attack power and stamina attack power when guarding against guarding enemies. Re increase Frostbite Status effect. Build up with the explosion. That's good. Tibia Summons. Reduce FP consumption. Increase casting speed. Reduce recovery time. Predagon's Rings of Light. Reduce FP consumption and recovery time. Which is nice to see. Increase the damage because it's kind of weak. Um, they didn't say anything about holy damage being changed, but that's going to be like a very big change that would have to happen. Um, Frozen Lightning Spear, nice. Flame of the Fell God, reduce FP consumption, increase attack power when charged. That's actually insane. Um, Shorten damage detection time with, of residual fire. That would be pretty inter interesting to test out. Well of Flame, increased ability to stagger enemies. Oh my god, that, that could change things. If you get staggered by that, that could be like an instant one shot. Increased stamina attack against guarded enemies. Burn of Flame. Reduce FP consumption. Short of the time it takes. That's actually huge. I'm scaring back. Increase stamina attack against God. What I would have liked this is hit detection. The hit detection is really off about this one. I wish they fixed that. It could be a bug fix. Who knows? Um, noble presence. Increase. Okay, short recovery time. Increase stamina consumption. Okay, cool. Um, increase the range of the shockwave beast claw. Garanks beast claw. Added a hitbox. Yeah, increase attack power of Stone of Grank. Scarlet A Union. Oh, interesting. Increase attack power, poise damage, and stamina. They need some of this one did a buff across the board, and it seemed like it got that. Learning attack range has been increased and recovery time has been decreased. It crossed just the poise increase. Um increased time of activation. Yeah, it needs like a buff of everything. We'll we'll see how that goes. I mean increased poise damage and attack power when charged. Extended the duration of the effect of the increased power. I couldn't even read that. Reading too fast. Okay, Inescape or Frenzy. Short on recovery time, increased grapple range. That's gonna be kind of cool, we'll see what that's like. Reduced FP consumption, increased stamina, attack power against guarded enemies. Okay, upwards and downwards. Black Blade, reduced stamina consumption, improved turning performance, and short on recovery time. The sword in the wave attack has been changed so they hit at the same time. Do I have... I don't think I have the requirements for that right now. Um, Bestial Sling, reduced the stone fragment, scatter randomness. That's good, so it's more consistent now. Consistent shotgun pellets. Decreased poise damage. Okay, that's going to be not going to be as good as PvE, but consistency is nice. Rod and Breath. Reduced Scarlet Rot. Satisfied build for these two. Yeah, love to see it. Fuck Scarlet Rot in PvP. Um, increased attack power of these bad boys. Okay, so these are adjustments of skills. Sword Dance and all this stuff. Well, the Okade's Dancing Blade. Reduced the delay at the end of the various actions. That's kind of cool. Extended effect of these. Nice. Added damage. Detection to the weapon part. Okay, that's kind of cool. Prayerful Strike and Great Serpent Hunt. Increased power and poise damage? Insane. Wild Strikes. Shorten the time between various actions and activation skills. Slightly increased attack power. Wild Strikes and Spinning Strikes? Or oh, hopefully they made Spinning Strikes an actual item to get. I hope they probably didn't, though. Flails are going to suck forever. Um, Ground Slam. Golden Slam. Edry Slam. Interest, increased attack power. Nice. Awesome. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions. Increase attack power of the stamp. Got buffed as well. Impaling thrust. Got an increased attack power. Piercing fang got an increased attack power. Spinning slash increased poise damage. It didn't even need that. It didn't even need that. Oh, when used with the falling weapons. Okay, still didn't even need that. <laughs> it already has really good poise damage. That's insane. I'm um, reduced the delay between the end of various actions. Charge forth. Okay, cool. Increased motion speed and attack power of blood tax. That's really nice. Increased HP deprivation effect. That's really good as well. Repeating thrust. Increased motion speed. Reduced the delay between the various... <laughs> oh my god. Giant hunt. Increased poise damage. This buffing everything. If everything's buffed. If everything's broken, then nothing's broken, right? Loretta slash increased poise damage for the first attack. Kind of cool. Poison moth flight. This one's actual dog shit. Increased the poison side effect build up. Okay, cool. Increased the duration. Increased the delay. Or reduced the delay. Nice. Um, increase the motion speed, attack power, and poise damage of Stormcaller. Sacred Blade, increased motion speed, added damage detection to the weapon part. Increase the effect duration and attack power of the weapon. Oh my god, I just talked about this one in my video. Oh my god. Why does, why does From Software do this? They couldn't wait. Okay, increase the status effect buildup and power of Bloody Slash. That's really nice. Um, Lifesteal, increased motion speed and attack power. That's cool. Increase the range and duration of the lava. Added a hitbox of the part of the weapon is actually slammed. 
Gravitas increased poise. That's huge because that was actually kind of shit. Um, Stormblade increased the motion speed, added damage detection to the weapon part. Flaming Strike increased the attack power of Flaming Strike, increased the duration of the attack power that grants after the buff. I literally just talked about this in my video that I'm going to post tomorrow. Oh my god. I'm going to have to change it. God dang it. Increase the duration of the attack power that the grants the weapon lightning attribute. Cool. Vacuum Slice increased the motion speed. Added damage detection to the weapon part. Nice. Nice changes. Blood Blade increased power. Really nice. Phantom Slash. My favorite Ash. Improved directional control. That's huge. That is huge. Hopefully the tracking is a lot better. Reduce the delay as well. Spectral Lens has increased power and reduced long range damage for Wolf. It didn't even need it. It's already like really good. It already does a decent amount of damage. I don't understand. That's awesome. Increased motion speed of Chilling Mist. Increased the duration. I literally just talked about it. Same with Poisonous Mist. I have to redo my video now. Fuck me. Um, Enchanted Shot increased arrow speed. Kick. The kick got buffed. Hopefully we get that Dark Souls kick back again. Attack power against guarded enemies. Craig Blade. I literally talked about this one as well. Have to redo my video. Endure. Increased duration. Extended the effect of the Trolls Roar and Braggots Roar and things like that. Awesome. Holy Ground increased HP recovery amount. Interesting. Reduced FP consumption of Raptor of the Mists. Reduced the projectile range of Flame Spit. Moonlight Greatsword. Reduced stamina consumption for the strong end charge attacks. Interesting. Added damage detection to the weapon part. Silvery as well. Increased our motion speed, attack power, and poison activating. Reduvious Blood Blade increased attack power. Nice. There's so much to be. Oh my god. Glintstone Dart increased range. Increased the range of Glintstone Dart? Speed and attack power of Magic Sack. That's actually insane. Glintstone Dart already has amazing range. Knight and Flame Stance. Increased attack power. The attack direction may be adjusted up and down. Okay, that's like something I, I gotta see like right now. What does that even mean? You can aim it. That's what it means. Before you could only go in one direction. But now you can aim it. That's huge. Um, Spear Core Ritual. Increased attack power. Nice. I actually was going to make a video about this one sometime soon, but this is another reason to make a video about it. Or Ryuna's Ghost Flame. Increase the duration of attack power and poise damage of the effect of the weapon act- What? Why? Shorten the time between various actions. It was already good. But I'm here for it. Wolf Sword. Increased poise during casting. It already has, like, maximum poise. I don't understand. Thunderclad. Increased directional control? Hold up. Hold up. Oh, I don't have the fucking requirements for it. God dang it. I'm um, Regal Roar. Extended. Okay. Increased effect duration that reduces maximum HP. That's going to be really annoying in PvP. Death and Death. Same thing. Alabaster's Law Ball. Increased attack power. Increased poise during casting. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Oath of Vengeance. Oh, please tell me they buffed Maticus Hammer. Increased the weapon attack power of Ice Lightning Sword. I'm pretty sure that's the Katana one, I believe. The Claw Flick got increased attack power. Increased poise damage. Well, that's what I was going to test. I'm going to test Hammers. Hammer, hammer, hammer. We're gonna go to the Claw Flick. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna change. No, they didn't change, um, staggering, but apparently it does more, um. How much damage does this do? Boom! Still satisfying. Okay, it doesn't um, stagger, but apparently it does more posture damage and poise damage, which is fine. I'm golden tempering out of the timing of interrupting attacks. Cool. Increase the strong attack motion speed. Increase the duration of the attack power. The effects. Jeez. Um, last rise. Increase the attack uh, power and effect duration. Unblockable blade. Reduced FP consumption. Increased motion speed, which is nice. Um, Loretta's slash. Increased attack power. Increased damage of the first attack. Increased attack power. Increased. Okay, I want to kind of see the unblockable blade. I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to see it. The speed of unblockable blade. Where is she? Here. Oh, that's very quick. Oh, jeez, that's really nice. The directional control of the follow-up strong attack has been improved. We gotta see that one too. We gotta see that one too. Come on, game. Please. Oh, wow. You can really aim that thing. Okay, that's nice. Increase the duration and attack power of the effect that Grants the weapon the holy attribute. Nice. Increased poise damage. Cold Spiral got a slight increase to attack power. Rivers of Blood got buffed, baby. Added the damage detection immediately after activating the skill. 
increased poise damage, increased the range of vengeful spirits, increased motion speed of Rosa's summons. That's actually kind of cool. I actually kind of want to see that. Where is that stupid axe? Be down here. That did literally hasn't changed at all. You lied to me. Um, increase the motion speed. Unblockable blade. Reduce time between activation skills and increase attack power. I'm not sure. There's two different types of unblockable blades. This haven't specified. Or deficit vortex. Increase attack power, motion speed, and poise damage. Okay, we gotta see that. Gotta see that. It's a great sword. Where is she? Oh my god, that is instant. That is literally instant. We have to see that. We have to see it. Why am I getting excited? The game came out like two years ago. Look at that. Too bad it didn't stagger. We can hold on to that though. Oof. He got flattened. Go away, Steven. I gotta read my stuff. Okay. Upward and downward jumpers. Okay, barbaric roll got changed. Okay, cool. Don't care for shield crash. Sepigree. Increased damage upon activation. Reduce the blade status effect build up granted to weapons. Huge. Bloodborne ritual. A blood and burn ritual. Reduce the range of damage. Okay, cool. And then bug fixes. Re added. Okay. Added a process to remove the ash wall from weapons that cannot normally be combined with certain ashes of wall. Fix the bug when preventing normal attacks. Okay. I don't really care. Anyway. That's that. I'll probably make a bunch of videos about this patch and update. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what your favorite part about the patch is. I, sorry, I didn't really read it thoroughly. There's a lot. And I just, um, yeah, don't have the patience for it because I want to test this stuff out. And yeah, see you around, guys. Bye.